Hey guys, welcome to a new video on Nail Possible. Today we're gonna make a very easy glittery candy cane mani using striping tape. We start applying our base coat. For the base, we're going to use a really, really light pink. We clean up our cuticles. And before we start using the striping tape, the polish needs to be completely dry. If you're like me and don't want to wait, you can use a quick dry top coat. We're going to cut a few pieces of the striping tape so they're ready to go. Remember to make enough pieces for all your nails. And we're gonna start placing them diagonally on the nail. You can eyeball it if you want, but I'm going to place three pieces together. And then remove the one in the center so all the lines have the same thickness. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to use two pieces in the center to make a thicker line. We remove the tapes in the middle. And we continue with this pattern. One thin line. And one thick line. Once we're done placing everything, we make sure the tapes go all the way to the edges so the polish doesn't leak underneath. And now we're going to apply a glittery polish with a jelly base to create the design. Once we apply the polish, we remove the tapes right away so we get crisp lines. And now we repeat this process on the other nails. If you prefer, you can do single lines only. Or if you feel like it's too much or you just don't want to do it on all your nails, you can do it on only one or two as an accent nail. Remember, it's super important the tape goes all the way to the edges so you don't have to fix anything like me. Once we're done, we can clean up if we need to. I'm going to try to fix some of the lines, but since I had to work really close, this tiny bit of footage is all I have to show you. You can leave it like this if you want. Because the glitter is textured, the contrast between the glossy base and the textured matte glitter looks really pretty. Well, at least I think it looks really pretty. I'm showing you the thumb because it was the best nail. From afar, it doesn't look that bad. But since I had to fix a few lines, it looks kinda bad up close. So I'm going to apply top coat to hide all that shame. And also it looks kinda nice with a glossy top coat. I do recommend you use a thick glossy top coat like this one because the glitter eats the top coat, especially this textured glitter. So the thicker the top coat, the better. In fact, I will have to add a second coat because one is not enough. But after a second coat, our design is ready. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget you can give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!